Good day, everyone. Here is our research entitled Development of a Need-Based Mentoring Program for Newly Hired Teachers in the District of General Mariano Alvarez. With me are my fellow researchers, our PSDSS in GMA District, Dr. Mary Ann M. Batino and Engineer Mignon Cecil M. Mangoba. For the rationale of our study, it reads, with the current COVID-19 pandemic, most of the newly hired teachers experience a culture shock, physical and mental fatigue, and other work-related stresses. The District of General Mariano Alvarez, seeking the need to nurture the new generation of uh, teachers, considers the possibility of putting up in place a formal mentoring program. For the key literature of the study, it can be noted that mentoring program is necessary to develop the culture of collaboration, trust and respect, and camaraderie among all teachers in the school. This is from De Colongon 2015 and Bainon in 2016. Also, according to TESTA 2018, Caparas 2016, and Paul and Alan in 2017, they said that it is necessary to guide the neophyte teachers in the different avenues of teaching profession and to, de to develop the and recognize the strengths and weaknesses of the newly hired teachers and master teachers. Meanwhile, Punsalan and Espinosa 2016 mentioned that the mentoring program also addressed specific areas of concern of the newly hired teachers, which he or she developed through one-on-one -on -one coaching and with his or her trusted mentor or master teacher. Finally, Gray, in 2018, pointed out that the school had placed a critical role in the success and failure of the entire program. He or she must be hands-on in monitoring and evaluation as well as in the conduct of the program. For the methodology of the study, our study utilized the descriptive research method which involves the determination of actual situation of the master teachers and the newly hired teachers in the locality of General Mariano Alvarez. The participants of the study has a total of 98 participants, constituted 48 newly hired teachers and 46 master teachers, master teachers rather, and chosen using purposive sampling. On the method of gathering data for the particular study, it constituted two stages. First is the administration of the needs-based assessment for the mentors and mentee, which includes the newly hired teacher and the master teachers, respectively. Second is the development of the need-based mentoring program. Finally, for the statistical treatment, the researcher used the frequency score, weighted mean, and chi-square. For discussing the results of the study or the findings of the study, the newly hired teachers of General Mariano Alvarez were majority are graduate of bachelor's degree and their range of teaching experience is one to three years. Regarding the assessment on the areas of concern of the newly hired teachers, specifically the content, knowledge, and pedagogy, the data gathered revealed that the skill in recognizing the general learning process of individual learner, as well as they do in their ILMP, to be their utmost concern. Secondly, they identified the needs to demonstrate the mastery of the subject matter they are teaching as their second priority, while the skill in selecting appropriate teaching method, learning activities, and instructional materials appropriate to the new normal situation as their third priority. On the parallel assessment of the master teachers regarding the specific concern, they identified that the newly hired teacher must need to develop their skill in communicating and learning goals for the lesson that are appropriate for the learners as evident in the weekly home learning plan they provided to them. Secondly, they identified that the development of the skill of the newly hired teachers in selecting teaching method learning activities, instructional materials appropriate to the new normal, and the skills in encouraging learners to ask questions and writing them in their respective journal. Thirdly, the master teachers felt the need to uh, develop the skill 
of the newly hired teachers in de demonstrating the mastery of the subject matter as well as the skills in encouraging the learner to ask questions and writing it in their respective journal. On the area of learning environment and diversity of learners, the newly hired teachers reveal that their priority need is on understanding that learning is of different kind and of different sources. Their second priority is on the developing their skill in communicating higher learning expectation to the learners as they always do in the feedbacks of their learning outputs. Thirdly, their desire to develop their action to demonstrate the values of learning and maintaining the standards of learners' behavior while conducting home visitation are their priority list of skill that they wanted to develop. With regards to the master teacher's assessment, they identified that the newly hired teachers must develop the skill in communicating higher learning expectation in each of their learners as they always do in feedbacks of learners' output. Succeedingly, from the master teacher's assessment, the newly hired teachers must also need to learn that learning is of different kind and from different sources. Finally, the master teachers felt the need for the newly hired teachers to develop action that demonstrate values for learning as well as the skills in making the classroom environment safe and conducive to learning when face-to-face -face is already allowed, and the skills to maintain consistent standard of, of learning behavior whether they conduct home visitation. Thirdly, on the assessment of curriculum and planning, the newly hired teachers felt the need to develop and utilize creative and appropriate instructional plan by modifying the modules to fit the needs of their learners. Second, their priority needs on creating situation that encourages learners to use higher order thinking skill. Finally, they identified that they need to develop their skill to integrate content of the subject matter with other areas or other discipline. On the assessment of master teachers, they felt that the newly hired teachers must learn to develop and utilize creative and appropriate instructional plans by modifying the module to fit the need of their learners, as well as to integrate the content of the subject and other discipline. They also prioritize the need for the newly hired teachers to create situations that encourage learners to use higher order thinking skills. Fourthly, for the discussion of the result on the area of assessment and reporting, the newly hired teachers felt the need to obtain information on the learning style, multiple intelligences, and the need of the learners as their priority needs. Also, the need to develop their skill in providing integrative, formative, and summative performance tests based on the topic discussed across the learning areas and to provide corrective enrichment activities based on the assessment outcome provided to the children. The master teachers, on the other hand, felt that the newly hired teachers must develop the skill on how to obtain information on the learning styles, multiple intelligences, and the need of the learners. They also revealed that the neophyte should also learn how to give timely feedback to reinforce appropriate learners' performance and behavior and how to provide corrective enrichment activities based on the assessment outcome provided to the children. To check whether this, there is a significant difference in the assessment of the newly hired teachers and the master teachers, it was revealed that their responses have no significant difference or they have almost the same assessment. Thus, the computed chi-square results are all lower than the respective critical value at 0.05 and 0.01 level of significance. The researchers designed the need-based mentoring program for the newly hired teachers in the district of, the, of GMA with the following general description. One, make, they make use of the mentor-mentee setup. The duration of implementation for program piloting is this school year, school year 2021-2022 to school year 2022 to 2023. The management level of the program for that this is for monitoring of the program is always in the district level. The delivery mode is limited face-to-face -face and virtual. The target personnel 
are the newly hired teachers and other teachers who wanted to join the program in a voluntary basis. And for the implementation of the program, the, it must have a budgetary requirement of 43400 for the duration of two years. For the conclusion, we have 1. Mentoring program must be need-based, flexible, and responsive to the actual need of the newly hired teacher. 2. It must cover the area of RPMS PPSD teachers' professional development, namely content, knowledge, and pedagogy, learning environment, diversity of learners, curriculum and planning, and assessment and reporting. It must develop the culture of collaboration and respect among all teachers in the school. And fourthly, it must help the newly hired teachers and struggling teachers to grow professionally and personally. For the recommendation of the study, we have, first, immediate dissemination of the information about the content, purpose, and benefit of institutionalization of the need-based mentoring program rather to the school head and master teacher of GMA must be conducted. The school head and master teachers must be trained about the program to be implemented in their respective schools. Once implemented, the regular monitoring and evaluation of the program must be conducted by the school head. Fourthly, similar study must be conducted by other researcher in, in other school in order to further enhance and or make the program more adaptive to the changing needs of the newly hired teachers and struggling teachers. Finally, for the references of this study, these are the some of the references used by the researchers in completing this study.